And then next we have part seven. This is the seventh and final part in our solo. What we're gonna do is you're gonna place your ring finger on the 18th fret of your high E string. I place my middle finger on the 17th fret and my pointer finger on the 16th fret to help me push my ring finger up and down the neck. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna pick this note and after we pick it, we're gonna bend it up a half a step pretty quick. So it's gonna sound like this. After we bent it up a half a step, then we're then we are just going to play the 18th fret of the high E. So, so far in part seven, we have this played slow. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend the note up a half a step, then we're gonna pick it. Then you're gonna bring the note back down to the 18th fret, play it there. So, so far in part seven, we have this played slow. Then once again, bend it up a half a step, then pick it. Then once again, play the 18th fret at its original spot, play it once. So, so far, all together in part seven, we have this played slow. And then to end this part and to end this solo, you're going to bend it up once again a half a step. Then you're going to pick it, and after you pick it here, you're going to play a vibrato there at your half step bend. So it'll sound like this. And that's going to be part seven. Part seven played all together in slow. And part seven played in roll speed. The solo played in real speed.